face that this world has forgotten. Ooh, what is up guys and of course welcome to another episode of Who Was Really Better. In today's episode, of course being episode 2, we're gonna focus on the pseudo legendaries from generation 1 and 3 who share of course the magical typing that is Dragon Flying. These two has actually been, well, quite on par with one another, which one is actually better between the two. Their function are pretty much the same, and uh, they have a few niches between one or two, being of course their abilities that separates them. But outside of that, one of the two has always been slightly better. And would you believe me if I said that Dragonite was considered somewhat bad, actually, to Generation 4? It was actually underused, even though it had Dragon Dance in Generation that you believe too. It still lacked proper moveset, which usually forced to have the likes of Thunder Wave because it's being, of course, a slower mod with a huge weakness to ice, which actually was quite common. And without Stealth Rocks, Dragonite actually was struggling. Settlements from the get go of Regeneration 3, though, was a force to be reckoned with, uh, easily going for OU in, of course, the tiers in Generation 3. Uh, having the likes of Earthquake was plenty. And of course, Air Lace was a good filler move, but it could utilize a lot of things, and it had a decent special move pool. Even though Dragonite has a superior special move pool, Salamence had his stats to pull them off. And once the special and physical split came, um, Salamence actually was considered Ubers in Generation 4, and uh, Dragonite was considered OU, which is cool, but also kind of a testament that Salamence was clearly the better mods between the two, being of course faster and stronger. But things started to change once of course Generation 5 come, and of course the dream abilities will start to showcase Salamence got Moxie, which is extremely dangerous consider which type of Pokemon it is, but Dragonite got Multiscale, and Multiscale was definitely a game changer between the two. The thing that should be mentioned though is that even though they both got different abilities, they were both OU in Generation 5. Um, of course, Dragonite with Multi Scale could now set up safely against a plethora of matchup in the metagame and utilize its poor speed and save itself, while Salamence now was really, really, really common with, of course, Moxie. A uh, scoffed variant just basically plummet through teams. This was probably one of the few mods that actually could utilize Draco really, really well with a really respectable 110 special attack. And of course, like a flamethrower, fire blast, it could do well. Um, as you look at these two Pokemon, you do realize that while Dragonite probably has a bulk advantage, but that's about it. Salamence is stronger and faster. Very much so. Uh, they share pretty much the same type of attack, definitely. Um, but slightly stronger in special attack, and it's sadly, and most prominently, are a lot faster than Dragonite, so it does win a plethora of matchups. So one would think, with this dialogue, that there would be no competition whatsoever going into, of course, Generation 6, right? One could say Salamence did get nerfed in Generation 6. The thing is here, Salamence and Dragonite, the two are having clear indication what they can do. They're both in this generation ferocious dragon dancer and it's very clear which one of these are the better and it all boils down to the ability. Due to fairy type being introduced, the go-to sets for Salamence, such of course the Scarf and Moxie set, was no longer something you could rely on with fairy type being actually walling any possible outrage birds you want to pull off with it. But the boat, like I said, has the ability to Dragon Dance, and it's very clear that Multi Scale will save a Pokemon more than a blind Dragon Dance and hoping for the best. Dragonite is one of the few mods that actually can take an eye shot, probably come out on top, but, and Salmon, sadly, due to its bit of a clear indication of lower bulk, has a lower chance of actually pulling that off. So, believe it or not, in Generation 6, things kind of got somewhat twisted. Now, between these two, of course, it are likelihood that Salamence wins the matchup, would of course intimidate a more defensive set with Wish and whatnot. But Dragonite, due to its sheer ability alone, and they're sharing, of course, the attack stats basically 130 plus, they are basically coming down to the Dragonite are the better Pokemon, and it has the likes of Extreme Speed, which also outprioritizes Eye Shot. 
which is something to keep in mind. And basically what it all boils down to is that while Salamence overall is the better offensive pressuring mod, Dragonite is the one that keeps on coming. In a metagame where fairy typing are as relevant as they are, Pokemon such as Dragonite will be the better option between Salamence and Dragonite. So yeah, I I actually went in with the mindset that Salamence was better between the two, but it wasn't until I actually looked at how the meta has been evolving and also how these Pokemon are used that I realized that Salamence falls short and it's actually quite surprising. Salamence has been the go-to dragon for quite some time and now the roles are opposite. Dragonite is simply the go-to dragon typing if you need a dragon dancer because it all boils down to which one danced the best between these two. While Salamence is better in a plethora of other things, to be honest, we of course the likes of a Moxie Scuff set, which actually is ferocious as all hell, but it's not being able to spam that made Dragonite stand out, mainly because it could pull a Dragon Dance where Salamence could not. And if these two Pokemon are dancers, then Dragonite, the fat bastard, is the one that actually is the better at dancing. He got the rhythm. So, with that said, guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode, and uh, of course, what do you think about these two? Who do you think are better between Dragonite and Salamence? Make sure to, of course, set it in the comments section down below. And next episode is gonna be a bit different. We're gonna have a guest host, actually, and uh, we're gonna look at some dark fight inside for this generation. So, with that said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye.